Welcome back to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. This is part three that talks about grouping, measuring, and drawing fault lines. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool that introduced the user interface and the editing capabilities. What is grouping? Grouping is the ability for you to group certain objects as one and group them together so that you can easily clone them, move them, and or adjust them however you like. So for instance, let's say if I want to group these three objects in the middle here as a group. Right now, as you can see, they're individual. And if you click on them and move them, they move as individual. Let's say if you want to group them so, can, so that I can easily clone them. So all you have to do is switch switch to grouping mode, which is F4. Now that in, you're in grouping mode, all you have to do is just select the first object that you want as the parent object. Let's say if I want the middle one as a parent object, I click on this. And now I'll see a line that allows me to then select what I want to group together. Um, so let's say if I want to group these three, I'll just point at this target and I'll click it once. And then now I can continue to click until I'm done or satisfied. Um, so if I click on this one as well, now I have these three targets grouped together. All in order to end it, I just have to click right click. Now that it's ended, if I select this, you see that this is all highlighted in blue. So if I go back to editing mode, if I highlight this and I click on this, I can move this as a group. And if I want to clone that, I just point at the parent and I just hit middle mouse button to clone it. And I can move this anywhere I want. I can rotate them, pitch them, tilt them, yaw them, uh, however as you wish. And so that's uh, basically the essence of grouping. The next editing mode that we want to discuss is measuring. If you hit F6, it's you go into measure mode, which allows you to then, let's say, for instance, measure the distance from one position to another. Let's say if I want to see what the length of this fault line that I've created is. All I do is just click here, and then as I'm dragging out, it will show you how long this distance is. So if I move it over here, you see that the length of this fault line is 6.3 meters or approximately 20.6 feet. And if I want to measure, uh, where I'm standing, I can click in here and then I move to, let's say, this target. And this target is approximately 6.6 .6 meters away from me. A relatively straightforward tool for you to measure. Very handy. You can fly up in the air and measure the distance between this and this and more accurately place uh, your props and targets. Very similar to that is a powerful feature called Draw Fault Lines. So if you switch to the Draw Fault Line mode, allows you to draw fault lines instead of dropping individual fault line segments onto the, onto your stage. So you can click, let's say if I want to put a fault line from here to here, all you do is just find the first position, click, and then drag it and it will show you the distance. And then all I have to do is just click again to drop it. If you want better control of it and if you want to draw a much more straighter line, you can click on this and then as you are dragging this you can hit control to let it snap to a specific axis that will get you a much more precise line you can also do this if you go 45 degrees or you can go uh, vertical like this as well so it'll snap to uh, eight positions around a circle so it's so very quickly you can draw fault lines like that if you want just click on that and draw another fault line over here and then from here draw a fault line here so that's great for irregular fault lines. What if I just want to quickly draw a square? Instead of having to click and drag, click and drag four times, uh, you can very easily draw a square by clicking and then hit, hitting shift. And while you're holding down shift, you can drag a box uh, just as you would like. And let's say if I want to draw a box this large, I can just drag up to here and then click on button and you straighten the lines and give you a nice precise box. And once, the, once you drop down on the ground, if I hit shift and I click on this, click on this, click on this, and click on this, now I have all four selected. I can very easily just move the box. You know, obviously can rotate and, and reposition them as I like as well. So this will hopefully allow you to very quickly build your fault lines for your stage designs. Now on to the next module.